Yesterday, we began to look at Paul's appeal to the Philippian church for spiritual oneness. We were looking at Philippians 2, 1 through 4. The basic message of what Paul said was, let's all be of one mind and one heart. However, within his appeal, he reveals several wonderful aspects of the Christian life that each of us possess. I want us to take a few minutes this week to look at those. Again, he wrote in Philippians 2, 1 through 4, If you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. But in humility, consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interest of others. Paul's basically saying, if you have any of these things, then I want you to be one in Christ and not be selfish. But as uh, he's writing, he says, as believers, we have the following things. And he lists them. We have encouragement. We have comfort. We have tenderness and fellowship, and compassion. That's quite a little list of benefits for being a believer. Paul starts out, verse 7, by saying, if we have these things. In the Greek language, there are several words for if. This word, I, expresses a condition that is real. In other words, it says, if we have, and we do indeed have. I like to say there's very little ifiness in this word, if. A really good, accurate translation of the word would be since. Since we have these things, because we do have them. Well, what is it that we do have? Paul said we have encouragement from being united with Christ. The word for encouragement is paraklesis. We've seen this word before. It means that Christ has come to stand along beside us as an advocate. It's a legal term. He is our defense counsel, and he becomes our source of joy and motivation as he stands beside us. Think about it. You have right beside you the Son of God to encourage and strengthen you in your daily walk. You are never alone. You're not vulnerable since he's your advocate or representative. When Satan wants to accuse you or belittle you, then your big brother is right there to stand beside you and say, he's fine, he's with me, I have him covered. Guys, you cannot get covered better than that. In a world filled with people, we still can feel lonely and vulnerable. Yet Paul assures us that we can have joy and an absence of fear because he stands beside us. Don't fear today. Don't be intimidated by what swirls around you. Receive the encouragement that comes from having Christ standing along beside you. Here's a great thought for today. He walks with me and talks with me. Here's a great prayer to pray for today. God help me to realize and to sense your comforting presence that is with me each step of my way. God bless you.